Rebecca Robeson, interior designer, businesswoman, and mother. Join me as I take you through my projects, my life, and what keeps me driven to design. Many of you have noticed that Grayson is a rather creative and crafty guy. He's always coming up with some wildly imaginative way of getting things done. Because I paint such big paintings, an easel was always out of the question. I needed something really big and sturdy, so I'm going to make a really big and sturdy canvas wall with adjustable mounting heights. So I'm trying to build a quick sub wall that'll swing out and then it's got a locking wheel in the back and then I can put my painting up here and paint it with natural light coming from the back. So, for the big news. Today, we're meeting with a landlord. After all these years of doing business in my home, we're actually thinking about moving out to an office space. I it's bought fantastic. it and signed Larry to a 10-year lease. You're so smart. I love that kind of smart thinking. Bobby is a young and very accomplished entrepreneur. Do you want to be best friends? <laughs> I have an opening. He just recently purchased a building that I frequently visit for our projects. BDG is a tile and slab showroom. We already use their materials, and what better way is there for us to stay more connected to our industry? Yeah. Oh, gosh. The entire second floor of this building is now available for lease, and we're thinking about taking all of it. What do you mean the flash is hot? Come on. It's a modern, industrial kind of thing. With exposed beams and conduit, it has areas of bare cinder block, which I would explore and show more of, with plenty of space and natural light. I know that you're like a numbers person and everything else, but are you a hugger? Because I'm a hugger. Well, we've established that. One great incentive to move on this is that BDG previously planned to annex this top floor and in preparation of that, installed very impressive sliding boards and display drawers. So. Sounds like you guys are all figured out. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Okay, so it's a lot more than I'd like to spend, but I just don't think I can pass it up. Before I get to use my cool new canvas wall or my reference photo mechanism, I have to paint a mini. Well, not that small, but, but a miniature. We like to think of it as an agreement between her and I. Once she signs off on the mini, then I can go on to painting the final painting in full confidence. When I paint these paintings, I always use one or more reference photos. And the problem is you constantly have to hold these photos up while you're painting during the entire process. And I got kind of tired of holding it, so I quickly created this little mechanism that holds it anywhere I want in front of the canvas. I'm back on the range in Bluff, Utah. And we are now looking at the new piece. Things at the Desert Rose Inn are in full swing. I told you, these guys are ambitious. They're on track for a mid-June grand opening. See, if, if you look at this, look, look at that right there. We're basically landing right here. So Amr has questions on where and how we're gonna hang the sconces in the hallway. Okay, follow me with your paint can. Okay. Where I I'm see ready. there's a beam, I want you to do an X. Ready, go. Catch me if you can. On this one, and this one. Follow me this way. Oh, over here too. No, we're gonna come back for those. I'm just trying to give him his money's worth. I get paid by the hour, you know. Okay. Ah! Oh, sorry. X, X. I didn't do that from that. I, oh, yeah. I knew it. <laughs> I'm an 
overachiever. Prior to that, Cindy and I took a little trip to the Las Vegas furniture market. We made big strides in putting together fabrics and soft goods for the new rooms. Some of the vendors were a little perplexed by what we were up to in the beginning, but after a short time, they got into the act, and they were having a great time with us as well. I found her over here. I'm looking up at the, at the bedding, and I'm like, oh my god, is this a mirage? <laughs> it's that woman <laughs> that won't return my phone calls. <laughs> Turns out, our email had a bug. We didn't receive our messages, we're talking 3,000 of them, for months. A couple of which came from this exceptionally good-natured and amiable person. Happy, Take a picture of this so when she calls, we will call her back. Happy. This was a little different experience for me. I'm used to buying one or two nightstands, one bed. When you're buying for a resort, you're buying in multiples. We managed to walk away without doing too much damage. You hear that? Me neither. I think that was Amr's heart that just stopped beating. Before I take you any further in the Desert Rose project, I think probably I should show you what I designed for them. Take a look at Desert Rose Inn's brand new guest rooms, lobby, and pool house. Come on, bring your bags and follow me. I wanna show you the lobby. You walk through these gorgeous heavy iron gates into a 13 foot tall lobby. The very first thing you're gonna see is the focal point, which is this amazing fireplace. A great grouping of four seating in front of the fireplace. Look here, a beautiful painting, and guess who's doing it? Double doors here, and on either side of this entry is a beautiful rug, a gorgeous chandelier that hangs from the center, and over here, some navy blue wallpaper. Oscar's gonna build this 13 foot tall built-in, and it's gonna be spectacular with all kinds of accessories and interesting things that we bought when we were at market. There is a dedicated exercise room. Now how nice is that? As you walk down this hallway, you're gonna see this has also got some very nice wallpaper on it. Here to the left is the men's restroom, and straight ahead, the women's. We bought these amazing mirrors. And then we have these really nice stalls. The men's restroom also has its own individual stall and a <clears throat> urinal. I gave them a little bit of art because, you know, you gotta do something for the guys. And I put in a nice little kind of a privacy screen next to the urinal. Well, are you ready? Grab your luggage, let's go on down to the hallways to check out your new guest room. Here we are in 108. This is your room. As you walk in, there's a place for you to put down your luggage, a desk, and a chest of drawers. Window treatments that have privacy blinds. We were able to use some really great accessories to add color. Here's the second bed. Now this is a pretty unusual setup. You see that we have two beds in the room, but rather than be on the same wall, which they usually are in most hotel rooms, I put them on separate walls so you have your own little bit of privacy and space. And here's the bathroom. And as you walk in this way, you will see that there is a starburst mirror, and this will be used as a nightlight, as the light actually emits from the back. On the right-hand side is your own personal tub and shower, which has been covered in tile that looks like reclaimed wood and additional shelves for you to put extra towels and pillows, all the amenities you'd want to have in a luxury hotel room. In the Desert Rose Inn, our clients wanted to build an indoor pool. There are fire pots right outside those windows, so at night you've got this ambiance of the fire pots. Back in the jacuzzi and on this wall over here to the left, we added a living wall. In the desert, we probably would want to have some greens. And you can see here we used wood siding on the walls on the inside of the pool. Now, just to give you a perspective, this mirror here is going to be custom made. It's actually nine feet in diameter. That's how big this room is. Doesn't this just look like such a wonderful place to take a cool dip, enjoy more of that absolutely gorgeous mountain view, and relax? 
Your friends might be waiting for you in one of the cozy seating areas we created with a lot of outdoor lighting. I think it's time that right now you and I should go and check into our new room. Let's follow this guy.